We interrupt our normal program. Normal broadcasting will now be discontinued for an indefinite period. This station will continue to stay on the air throughout the alert period to bring you authentic information. Telephone service to your home may be cut off. If you can plug in your radio in the basement, take it with you. Use a portable radio set if you have one. I purchased a Zygu X6100, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade this radio to the latest firmware version. For this process, you're going to need to download the firmware from the Radio Oddity website, a micro SD card, and software to flash the firmware to the card. To get started, go to the Radio Oddity website, and I'm going to leave links below to everything that I'm going to show you, but you're going to want to click on the Support tab and then click on the Zygu download button. And then that takes you to the Zygu download page, and then you'll click on the X6100. A window will pop up, and I've already downloaded the latest version, which is listed on top and highlighted in yellow. After downloading the firmware, I'll need to flash it to an SD card. And I happen to have this 512 gigabyte SD card, and you don't need one that large because these firmware files aren't that big. But I'm using this one because it's what I had lying around. And then I'm going to insert it into this USB adapter so I can plug that into my machine and then flash the uh, flash the firmware. But to do this, you'll need software to flash the firmware to the card. And there's a couple of options you can choose from. One is Wind Flash Tool or Bellino Etcher. And I currently have Etcher installed on the machine I'm using for this video. So I'm gonna show you what that process looks like. I have Etcher open and I'm gonna select the firmware file from a folder on my desktop where I have it saved. Select the SD card location and then click Flash. Okay, that's it. Now we'll move over to the radio. Now we can use the SD card to upgrade the 6100 and it does come with an AC wall adapter and before upgrading you'll want to plug the radio in. So now we can put our SD card in and then power the radio on. And once on, you'll see the radio start copying the data from the card. And after copying the data, the radio is going to power off. And once it does, then you're going to want to remove the SD card. OK, the radio is powered off, so I'm going to remove the SD card. Okay, the radio is powered on, so we'll want to go into System Settings, Firmware Upgrade, and then click Upgrade.
and it looks like it's done so we'll hit quit exit and that's it thanks for watching